Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video I have explained you about simulation. The meaning of simulation, the application areas where simulation can be applied, then advantages, disadvantages of simulation and Monte Carlo simulation. These are the concepts already I have explained you in the last video. Now in this video, I'm going to solve two problems on simulation. It's very easy technique to find the solution of a simulation problem. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of the first two problems, then I'll explain. See the first problem. A bakery keeps stock of a popular brand of cakes. Previous experience shows the daily demand pattern for the item with associated probabilities as are given below. Daily demand 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The demand is neither less than 0 and less than 0 demand will never occur. Demand may be 0 or positive, it will never be negative. So 0 and above, so up to 50. There is no demand more than 50. So 0 demand, the probability is 0 0.01. So 1% 1 chance that the demand will be 0. Then 20.20 means 20% 20 probability that the demand will be 10 cakes. And 20 cakes, the probability is 0.15. 30 cakes, probability is 0.50. 40 cakes probability is 0 0.12 12% and 50 cakes the probability is 0 0.02 2% this is the probability is given for different demand use the following sequence of random numbers to simulate the demand for next 10 days random numbers are given 25 30 65 like that also estimate the daily average demand for the cakes on the basis of simulated data so first of all, we have to find out the simulated demand by using 10 random numbers. Before finding out the simulation, first we must know the coding, random number coding. Random number coding we have to make. So according to the given distribution of demand, random number coding for various demand level is as follows. So this is the first problem. So give more concentration in understanding how to give the random number coding. So your demand is given 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Whatever is given in the problem, demand. Probabilities are also given in the problem 0 0.01, 0 0.20, 15, 12, 0, 0, 2. These are the probabilities given. Now we need cumulative probabilities. Cumulative probabilities. First probability 0 0.01, same 0 0.01. The 0 0.01 plus 0 0.20. So 20 plus 1, 21, 0.21. 0 0.21 plus 0 0.15 is 0 0.36. 0 0.36 plus 0 0.50, 0 0.86. 0 0.86 plus 0 0.12, 0 0.98. 0 0.98 plus 0 0.02, you will get 1.00. This is the cumulative probabilities. Now random number interval. Actually, we are given two digit random number. In the problem, the random numbers are given two digits. So our random numbers will be from 00 to 99. 00 to 99. This is the range of our random numbers. If only single digit random number were there, then we would have taken 0 to 9. Right? If three digit random number are there, then we would have taken triple zero, triple nine, like this. So in our problem, two digit random number. So our random number will be 0, 0 to 99, right? So first, the cumulative probability is 0 0.01. 0 0.01 means only 1%. So we will take random number interval 0, 0. So the first cumulative probability is 0 0.01. That means one item is there. So we'll take 0, 0 is the first random number interval. Second one, it is 0 0.21. So after 0, the next random number is 01. 
0, 1, 2. Just below 21, below 21 is 20. So 0, 1, 2, 20. The next random number will begin from 21 because 20 we have done. Next number 21, 21 to 35 because the here the cumulative number is 36. So one number below 36, one number below 36 is 35. So 21 to 35. Next number will start from 36. Now one number below 86, below 86 you will have 85. So 36 to 85. 85, the next number will begin from 86. 86 to 97. Because below 98 is 97. So 86 to 97. Next number will start from 98. 98 to here it is 100. One number below 100 is 99. So 98 to 99. So again I repeat. In the first case cumulative is 0, 1. So we will take the random number 0, 0. Second number will start from 1. Because 0 after 0 the next number is 1. One number below cumulative. The cumulative is 21. So one number below 21 is 20. Next we'll start from 21 to 35. Because 36 is there. So we'll take 35. Next number 36 to 85. Then 86 to 97. 98 to 99. This is called random number coding or random number interval. Now we have to find out the simulated demand for the random numbers given in the problem. Now days 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 10 days. And random numbers are given in the problem. So, <coughs> so I have taken the same num random numbers which are given in the problem. Now simulated demand. Each random number we have to see where in which interval it will fall. The first random number is 25. Now see the random number interval. In this random number interval in which class this 25 will fall. It will fall between 21 to 35. Because here the random number is 25. So 25 will be between 21 to 35. So what is the demand for this interval? The demand is 20. So I have taken here 20. Simulated demand 20. The next random number is 30. Now locate 30 in which class interval? 30 will fall again between 21 to 35. So what is the demand here? 20. So again I will take 20. Next is 65. Now see in which class interval 65 will fall. Here 36 to 85. In this class interval 65 will fall. So what is the demand? 30. So I have taken 30. Next comes 76. See 76 will fall again between 36 to 85. So what is the demand? 30. Next random number is 12. The 12 random number will fall between 1 and 20. So what is the demand here? 10. I have taken 10. Then 0, 5. 5 will also fall between 1 and 20. So 10. 73. 73 will fall between 36 to 85. So demand is 30. 89. See where 89 will fall? 86 to 97. In this 89 will fall. 40. Demand is 40. 19 will fall between 1 to 20, so 10. 49, 49 will fall between 36 to 85, right, 30. That's all. So we will see the random numbers will fall in which range. Against that range, what is the demand? That is called simulated demand. Now take the total of the simulated demand, 230. 230 cakes is the total demand in 10 days. Now what is the expected demand per day? What is the average demand per day? So 230 divided by 10, 23 cakes is the average demand per day according to the simulated data. That's it. This is the first problem on simulation. Now second problem you see, a company manufactures around 200 mopeds. Depending upon the availability of raw material and other conditions, the daily production has been varying from 196 mopeds to 204 mopeds, whose probability distribution is as given below. The production of mopeds, moped is one of the type of scooter, two-wheeler. So the company produces, manufactures mopeds around 200. Around 200 means on some days it is less than 200 production. 
in on some days it is more than 200 production so on an average production comes to 200 so the range goes from production per day 196 197 198 up to 204 so normally the production goes from 196 to 204 right so what is the probability of making 196 mopeds 0 0.05 probability of making 197 mopeds 0 0.09 198 mopeds 0 0.12 like that all probabilities are given remember the total of probabilities always must be equal to 1 now the finished mopeds are transported in a specially designed three-storied lorry that can accommodate only 200 mopeds all the mopeds which are manufactured are transported in a specially designed three-storied lorry in that three-storied lorry all the mopeds will be transported but the capacity of the lorry is only 200 mopeds not more than 200 mopeds can be accommodated in the lorry using the following 15 random numbers simulate the process to find out what will, what will be the average number of empty spaces on the lorry and what will be the average number of mopeds waiting in the factory see here empty spaces in the lorry suppose the production is 196 only but the capacity of the lorry is 200 if the production is 196 and the capacity is 200 that means 4 lorry 4 empty spaces will be there in the lorry suppose the production is 202 then what will happen the accommodation is only 200 mopeds the so two lorries will be waiting to be dispatched so some days there will be empty spaces in the lorry and some days there will be mopeds waiting to get transported right so uh, using simulate the process to find out what is the average number of empty spaces on the lorry and what is the average number of mopeds waiting random numbers are given 15 random numbers are given so by using this 15 random numbers we have to find out what is the simulated production how many are the empty spaces in the lorry and how many are the mopeds waiting for transportation right but first of all we have to give random number coding for the probabilities given so if the random numbers are 00 to 99 are allocated in proportion to the probabilities associated with each production the following table shows the random number interval just like the previous problem the production per day 196 197 198 like that up to 204 and probabilities are given in the problem right now we need cumulative probability first probability probability and cumulative both are same 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 plus 0 0.09 0 0.14 0 0.14 plus 0 0.12 0 0.26 0 0.26 plus 0 0.14 0 0.40 0 40 plus 20, 60, 60 plus 15, 75, 75 plus 11, 86, 86 plus 8, 94, 94 plus 600. So we have calculated cumulative. Now, first cumulative frequency is 0 0.05. So our random numbers are beginning from 00 to 99. Right? So one number below 5. Below 5 is 4. So the first random number interval will be 00 to 04. The next interval will start from 0, 05 because 0, 04 over 0, 05 2. What is the cumulative here? 14. One number below 14 is 13. So 0, 05 to 13. Then 14 to 25 because here 26. One number below 26 is 25. Then 26 to 39. 40 to 59. 60 to 74. 75 to 85. 86 to 93. 94 to 99. Over. This is called random number interval. Now, based on the 15 random numbers given, we simulate the production per day as follows. It is given in the problem 15 random numbers. So, we have to find out the simulated production for 15. Now, you can carefully see here the simulated production for 15 random numbers. Here, serial number 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 15. Random numbers are given in the problem. Right? Now, simulated production, production per day, 82. Random number 82. Now, see in which interval this 82 will fall. So, here 
82 will fall here 75 to 85 75 to 85 in this range our 82 will fall so what is the production here 202 so I have taken 202 production 89 89 will fall between 86 to 93 what is the production 203 production 203 78 78 will fall between 75 to 85 202 then 24 24 will fall between 14 to 25 so 198 53 will fall between 40 to 59 200 61 will fall between 60 to 74 201 18 like this all random numbers you have to locate in which interval this will fall against this what is the production that production you have to take it here that is called simulated production now it is asking you what is the average number of empty spaces in the lorry and what is the average number of mopeds waiting for transportation the capacity of the lorry is 200 if the production is more than 200 the mopeds has to wait if the production is less than 200 then there will be empty spaces in the lorry first case 202 is the production on first day the production is 202 but the capacity of the lorry, lorry is only 200 the two mopeds will be waiting the number of mopeds waiting is 2 and number of empty spaces dash empty spaces will arise when the production is less than 200 here it is more than 200 so mopeds are waiting here 203 three mopeds are waiting 202 two mopeds are waiting next is 198 when the production is 198 two empty spaces will be there in the lorry or two empty spaces 200 when the production is exactly 200 no waiting no empty spaces no waiting no empty spaces so 201 one waiting 198 two empty spaces 200 dash dash 196 four uh, empty spaces 198 two empty spaces 200 dash dash 202 two waiting 199 one empty space 200 dash dash 197 three empty spaces right after calculating take the total of waiting total of waiting 10 and total of empty spaces 14 it is asking you to calculate the average number of waiting and average number of empty spaces so here average number of mopeds waiting in the factory the waiting in the factory total is how much 10 in how many days 15 days so 10 divided by 15 0.67 per day theoretically it is coming in fraction practically it is not possible theoretically 0.67 per day an average number of empty spaces in the lorry the total empty spaces are 14 so 14 divided by 15.93 that is the average empty space per day that's it so in this video two problems i have explained on simulation the first thing is you must know how to give random number coding secondly you have to locate where the random number falls in which class interval it will fall against that whatever is the variable that is the simulated variable here we have calculated simulative demand and here we have calculated simulated production that's it so two problems are completed inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video so if you are satisfied give a like to the video subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and buy the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll start the third problem in the next video